Okay, you guys, welcome back to Winter Thoughts. If you haven't watched uh, any of my other ones, I'd recommend you go check those out right now. Um, first, before I get into it, uh, a little bit of an announcement. Um, saving up for a new mic. Uh, as you can hear, it's pretty bad. Um, don't know what went wrong with it, kind of, but over time, it kind of just deteriorated. So, yeah. Um, we're going to fix that soon. But in the meantime, I hope it doesn't bother you that much. Let's get into it. So, Noah, uh, this is their current winter forecast. Um, and this is, as you can see, DGF. And it was made today. We've got the precipitation. Uh, what I find surprising is that it looks a lot like what mine does. Um, with like the above average significant chance kind of going out to sea, and I do agree with that for right now. Dry in this area and dry in that area, pretty much. Uh, the temperatures were kind of like, eh, you know, kind of, yeah, pretty much. Um, I'd move that, like, a little bit further east, and then maybe, like, a little less above average up here, even though there is the chance for slight, but, yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and look at uh, some other forecasts that have come out recently. Weatherworks forecast. I like this one. Um, more frequent coastal storms above normal snow in this blue area. Watching for mixed precip types. And then as you can see, coastal Virginia, we are in between this and this. Very interesting. Um, all this. Let's read out some of the things that he said. Uh, we're going to start from the top here. November will bring rather mild with the cold air locked up in the mid upper Midwest. But December makes an abrupt switch to below average temperatures in the Northeast. Active weather pattern will provide numerous storm threats for the Mid-Atlantic and the Southern New England. With December the most likely month for the big one. Interesting. Um kind of hinting at, like, a Boxing Day storm? Is that, like, that's crazy. That would be awesome. Um, then, the cold expands in January with a higher risk of prolonged Arctic outbreaks. Snow threats push further south into the Ohio Valley and Mid-Atlantic for January and February, which may keep New England dry in the Midwest, has a higher likelihood of significant snap. Then we start right here and then into that. The heart of the cold air shifts into the Midwest from February into March, but most of the Northeast continues with a higher than at uh, normal risk or below normal readings, aka temperatures. Um, so, what we're going to be looking at uh, is late season snowfalls will be favored in March and a even into April, extending the winter for snow lovers. That's pretty cool. Um, all around uh, good winter. And this is what a lot of forecast looks like. This is the first forecast from a major source, the one I'm about to show you, that actually has more of like, eh, you know, meh, not, I mean, and it's AccuWeather. Um, as you can see, the mix zone's a little bit more coastal and a little bit further north than um, what a lot of people are saying, even me, um, which would leave me in uh, just rain, apparently, uh, wet. And as you can see, I'm actually going to draw on this. What it looks like is what they're having is... Um, this is where the cold is. I'm going to fade this so it kind of stays, but we can still read if we need to. Um, so, there we go. So they have this area basically looking like it's going to be below average, and then kind of like this. Sorry, somebody's coming inside the house. Um, so we've got um, above average temperatures kind of throughout this zone. So 
Where did I put that? Okay. Um, and it looks like they're putting above average temperatures in this zone. Like that. And um, that's what it looks like. I mean, that's untypical for a El Nino. Typically, we would have actually south being cold and north being warm. That's actually a lot more typical. Um, which would kind of bring this further south. The good thing about the north is, even without below average, you're still probably going to get a lot of snow. Um, and then once you get this south up below average, that's when you start to get this um, mix line well through here. I mean, let me show you my um, my nor'easter track here. Feel snow, snowy for this zone, mix for this zone, rain for this zone. Enough said. Um, all right. Uh, this is my thoughts. I've uh, shown you our forecasts. Very interesting stuff. All right. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.